Hey everybody, super exciting news. This is the first guitar from Jordan McConnell's new shop in Winnipeg. Jordan McConnell is um, one of my great friends and makes my personal number one guitar that I play as my main baby. And many of you have been following Jordan's career on our website here. Um, let me just give you a little bit of background on Jordan and then of course we'll talk about this. So this is, um, as I mentioned, Jordan just made a new shop uh, at his home in Winnipeg and this is sort of the second epoch of Jordan McConnell guitars. If you look at um, some of the traditional um, like Spanish makers of classical guitars, they had these different sections of their career, these different epochs where they moved to a different shop or started doing something differently. In this case, it's not just a new shop for Jordan, which is amazing because it gives him incredible creative freedom. He has a really beautiful space now set up just the way he likes. And if you follow Jordan at all on Instagram, you see he has all these amazing Japanese chisels and such. He's quite a craftsman. Um, and But in addition to just having a new space that allows him freedom, he also has a new way of working. So what we're doing now is he exclusively makes instruments for us and he just builds what he wants. Um, he dreams up and into every instrument and build something really special. And then once they're completed, gives them to us to offer to you. So that's the case with this guitar and it's the first one to come out of his shop in that manner. And it's really exciting to me because as much as builders love to work and custom build for clients, oftentimes that can be somewhat limiting and that the, build, the, the builder is building what the client asked for and the client may not have the same sort of dreams and wild ideas that a, a, a luthier can. Um, so in this case, we're gonna see just what Jordan has done here on this guitar and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. First things first, this is Jordan's 15 inch model. So it's a slightly sm smaller guitar, 15 inch across the lower bout. Um, it's a cutaway as you can see, and it's a moon spruce top. Moon spruce, just like my own McConnell guitar as well. And moon spruce again, um, harvested when the sap is the least in the tree so that you get a bit more energy and vibration out of the top, um, even day one when the guitar is brand new. Um, then there's all kinds of other details on this instrument. Let's go ahead and just do a quick tour of it. So you've got dual bevels here. You've got an armrest bevel on the front. It's a fan fret guitar. So you've got, of course, his beautiful, he does a hand card Brazilian rosewood bridge. In this case, he did a two-tone saddle, which I really love with some fossil ivory. And the scales on this guitar are 25 inches on the treble and 26 on the bass. So it's a really great guitar for lots of alternate tunings, especially dadgad. It's perfect for drop D, it's perfect for standard, and it does C tunings really well also. I've already taken advantage and had this guitar at my home for a few days, so I had a chance to put it through its paces and it, it's versatile, it does it all. Um, it's got a beautiful rosette that, um, this guitar throughout, I'm gonna show you a number of details. One of them, you, you won't, probably won't pick up on the video here, but there's a little bit of a, a Brazilian inlay on the Brazilian rosette, and there's abalone border, of course. Um, the bridge, again, is Brazilian rosewood. And then the fingerboard is completely bordered and bound with the nice terminus there at the end. We have a beautiful headstock piece, multi-piece, uh, multi of course. And then, again, this sort of braiding um, style of, of what he did with the wood here, which is echoed on the back and a secret thing I'll show you in just a moment. And then, um, again, it's fan fret. Uh, 25 to 26. The back of the headstock shows off Rogers tuners, which are handmade in England. Just absolutely gorgeous. These ones are etched as well, and they work flawlessly. I have them on my guitar as well. Really smooth, accurate tuners. Super figured piece of mahogany he had for the neck, so he saved this wood for this guitar. I really love the neck heel here. It's a unique shape for him. It's even different than his others, and I really love the classy look of it. And here we have the, one of the cool features on this instrument. It's a braided look of Brazilian rosewood that he inset into the back of the heel here. Just really stunning. I mean, it's hard to imagine how much, how many hours that took. He was sending me some pictures during the process and it was quite a thing. And then gorgeous, gorgeous old growth Brazilian rosewood here. And then a number of what he did here, this guitar has a lot of detail, but it's very subtle. And by subtle, I mean, um, extensive, but really nicely done. And in, in both of the waist here, you'll see these small little feathered sections where he um, put in Brazilian rosewood on top of Brazilian rosewood. So it's not overly, um, it doesn't, it doesn't over, it's not overdone. It's very elegant, very beautiful, very subtle. Same here in the cutaway area, there's one. And then you've got it again on the waist of the guitar on both sides. There's an area with that. 
on the butt wedge, there's two areas of that as well. And then there's also, of course, another one on the, on the other side. So just take a look at the photos. You really need to sit and enjoy this guitar. Another one here, rib rest bevel as well. So you've got bevels on both sides. So this is a super comfortable guitar to play. The sides are all completely bordered as well as you see the, the perfectly lines and all around the back and the double perfectly lines around here. Just lots and lots of time and energy put into this guitar. And it may look like a typical finish because it's so beautiful and shiny, but this is all hand done French polish that Jordan painstakingly does himself. So he's really gotten good at French polish. And Jordan and I, we talk a lot about meditation and uh, he's a Zen practitioner. And um, I can just imagine him, you know, really taking the time and energy and putting the love into the French polish and just really beautiful on his instruments. And that of course is a very thin finish so it allows all the sound to come out. So that's where I want to direct our attention right now. Let's talk about the tone of this instrument. Of course, the, the beauty is sort of speaks for itself and the details are just, I don't know how many hundreds of hours he put in this guitar, but it's quite a bit. Um, it's definitely unique and different than all the ones he's built to date. Um, the voice is just uh, magical. What I like about Jordan's guitars and the way I often describe him is um, I think his tone is, is a combination of um, what I've heard in many great makers, and I've told the story before about how Jordan has many times um, in the past come to the shop even before I ever played one of his guitars. He was a traveling musician and a great musician and a pro playing in the band called The Ducks out of Winnipeg, and they would tour all over the, the world, really. Um, and I remember seeing his videos on um, VH1 and all of that kind of stuff. So he's had quite a career as a musician. So his ears are great. His playing ability is superb. So. Um, he really knows how to make an instrument that will bring out the sound and inspire a musician. And that's what's going on here. So um, one detail I missed to tell you is a 12 fret guitar. So it's 12 fret cutaway, 15 inch lower bow. So a really nice design for finger style. Um, and of course, we can strum on it as well. But tonally, what Jordan gets, I feel, is, is, a, is that that elusive, versatile sound. This is a guitar that you could bang on and play fiddle tunes and have a blast with, and you could play the most sensitive thing you know in your repertoire, and it's gonna really pull out a lot of emotion. On the intro, you, if you listen to that last little chord, Greg and I were just kind of smiling. You, know, you can't see our faces during the intro, but often we're going like, whoa, you know, it's like the, the overtones were just sort of swelling and lingering and doing their own thing while I sat here with, you know, just holding the guitar. It was really, really beautiful. So there's some of that going on. Um, so what I mean by that is I ended on this chord. And you sort of hear this stuff that happens just magically. It's really, really sweet. And then the other thing I like about Jordan's guitars is the trebles are what I consider fat and juicy, something I really like. So you get all this. They're very melodic and trebles that you want to listen to. If you're a finger style player, you want your trebles to be extremely pleasing on the ear. And that's what Jordan, of course, gets here as well. Um, 15 inch guitar, still plenty of bass. So I have the guitar in Dadgad right now. So lots going on as far as bass energy too. So just really nice sound. There's a lot of brilliance. You know, there's that glassiness that the Brazilian Rosewood lends. There's the clarity that the Moon Spruce lends. And then there's Jordan's hands doing all the rest of the magic. So let's play it a bit. I'm gonna play a couple different examples for you. The first one here is in Dadgad.